Sunday estate sales. So we just got started. That's a church hill. Those are kind of interesting. I got the little piggy. Oh, it's a piggy. It's actually a piggy bank. The piggy, the piggy is a piggy bank. Okay. I'm going to head this way. I've got clocks. I'll look at the Easter. Oh, I like those little guys. I'm going to take the pink ones. I think we'll take these little guys. We'll take those. And maybe we'll take those too. Let's see. Are those... Okay, so how much are the, the pink? All right. Like what? Oh yeah, my little camera. Yeah, it. Yes, I have a. I have a channel. I have a, a YouTube channel. Yeah. So I go to all kinds of estate sales, and um, I have a large group of people that go with me. <laughs> Yeah. Is there a whole table? Yes, it is. Oh, well, thank you. I have him. I was being careful. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. So I did start over here. Let's see. They do have some Christmas stuff. I did grab the um, little, I saw these, but they both have chips in them, so I'm not going to take them. But these Santas are adorable. Um, Jan Pashley, those are actually very pretty. Um, the salt and peppers are $10, $10. Um, everything, it's the last day, so everything is marked down, so I am kind of tempted to grab things like that um just because of the price these these are I, I mean they're very unique i'm just i'm looking for damage i'll come back to those i might grab those so we've got some pictures oh that's really pretty too the pictures are, are nice colors that's a big fireplace we've got some jewelry all right. I'm not much of a jewelry girl. So you know what? Let's go. Let's go upstairs. Oh, you know what? Let's look at the clothes again. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. So I did grab one piece. I grabbed this uh, rod and gun, um, like men's pullover. And so we'll come over here, and we'll see what else is on here. Um, looks like we have a lot of old navy. I already know that as soon as I start pulling this stuff, it's all going to come down. And I was right. That's what's hard when the hangers are these kinds. Sorry, you guys are getting a, a view of the hangers. But um, I'm hoping they have more stuff upstairs because this house has really been emptied out. Actually, that's very pretty. I like the color on that. You know what? I think we'll take that too. I do like the colors. Um, some Cabello's. Most of this looks to be, um, I see a lot of Target stuff, Walmart. Okay, so not, not, not huge high-end stuff. So we'll head, we'll head over here. We will take this and we do have a big Christmas tree. Thank you. All right, and we have TVs. Let's head up the stairs. This this house is absolutely beautiful. It's humongous, so I'm sure there's there is rooms and things everywhere in this house. Um, it's very large. So we got the books. We have all the books. We do have some more shoes and stuff. Those are kind of cute. I wonder what those are. Those are Moronas. Those are Carlos. Walmart. We got some vans. Okay. 
Okay, what are these? Sonomas, okay. I'm sorry if it's a little dark up here, guys. Um, like I said, it's um, that's a Charming Charlie. Extra small. I don't know if we're supposed to go over here. Oh, okay, it says dope, so do not enter. Okay, so that's not part of it. Okay. Good thing I looked. That's not part of it. Okay, this is interesting. So we have a hallway back here. Okay, we're not supposed to go in there. Ah, more back over here. All right. Some old stuff back here. Oh, Carl's looking at the radios. I guess that's the tropical Santa. some old games down here. It's a travel scrabble. Do you do a YouTube channel? I do. Who are you? What's your name? Short Girl Picker. Oh. Short Girl Picker. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hello, Short Girl Picker. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> I watch you like, every day when you do your videos. Do you really? Well, thank you. I do appreciate that. I try to be very incognito. This is Carl. He edits all my videos. So I try to be really incognito. Um, Why are you talking to yourself continually? No. Uh, well, I would probably do that anyway. And I've been in, I have been in the store without my camera, and I'm still talking to myself. So, yes. But thank you for watching. We do, we do appreciate that. All right. I don't know if I... I did want to look to see um, Blue Max. I think there's another hallway. Okay, so we're going to go back up here and we're going to go around to the other hallway. Okay, I think they've removed a lot of items already out of this house. Um, oh, okay, so we can't go in there. Okay, so books. Is there anything? Jimmy, we have a Jimmy Buffett book. A Salty Piece of Land, Oliver Twist. Let's see if there's any books. Ah, I've read her before. I think I'm going to grab a book today. Let's see if there's anything else that we want. You know, there's a lot of people that will do literally. Here's, an, here's a couple more by her. Oh, she, they must have really liked her. Okay, so I know I've read Low Country before. Um, I know I've read that one. Oh, you came out? No, you came. You didn't come out. Up Island. Let me see. I think we'll grab. 
I can't remember what order these go in, so maybe I will grab two. Um, got some books. Share. I'm taking off. Oh, you are? Okay, all right. So 10, it would be five. It would be five. Shay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to be about done here. A lot of this, the house has, uh, has, um, you know, been removed. So it's, it's not a, a ton of stuff here. So I think I'm going to turn you guys off. I will come back and I'll tell you guys exactly what I got in a little while. All right. So I am going to start in purses today. Um, they have definitely refilled. There's lots of stuff here. Um, I don't know what this is going to be. This is interesting. This is made by Falchi. Hmm. I will put that in and check that one out. Um, I did stop at the rack when I came in and I grabbed this Patricia Nash. I just thought it was pretty. Um, so I did grab that and a, and a Hallmark ornament. These were in the, the, the case at the front of the, sh the store. Um, so we'll just kind of come and go through here. This is really pretty. I don't know if it's leather. Um, this is actually made by Sonoma. I don't think it's leather. Um, it's got a little bit of damage on it, so I am gonna put that back, but it's it was very cute. Um, there's also another little green one down here. Now, who makes this one? This is really pretty too. Um, I don't know if this one is leather. You know what, this one might be leather. It, it kind of has that textured feel to it. Look at it, it, it's really a pretty little jade color. So you know what, I'll put that in the card and we'll take a look at that one. Um, this blue right here, both of these are actually really pretty. Let's see, so who makes this? Oh, that's cute. So this is one of those that you have to open up a certain way. And it's got the little, it's got the little pouch in here. It, it definitely needs to be cleaned, but I don't think that's anything some shoe polish won't do. Um, I'm trying to figure out who makes this. It's very pretty. It says, okay, on the inside. So it's a genuine leather made in, I think it says Columbia. But look at that. That's kind of a neat purse. Look at how it opens up. It's like it's a lot bigger than what you'd expect. Um, I think I'll put that in the cart. We'll take a look at that one. And then there's this. Who makes this one? This is made by Hunt Club. Very pretty. Almost looks like a coach knockoff. I think we'll leave that one too because it definitely feels, feels like leather to me. So that was nice. We found, we found a couple. They de they've definitely been in here and restocked. I'm going to do another run down this aisle. I kind of think this might be a coach. Oh yeah, that looks like a coach. Um, oh yeah, it is. Well, we'll put this in the car and we'll check, we'll check for damage on it. I don't know. Some of the silver is worn off on the straps, but the purse itself is, is uh, the straps are dirty or I'll have to I'll have to really think about that. I know you guys probably can't tell, but I think I will put this in the car and we'll look. But let's do a quick look at the wallets because this are this is nice and full over here with wallets. We'll go back to the purses. Okay, so I do see I see guests. I do see some Vera Bradleys. Um, these don't look like they're marked up, but they're they're not. They're, they're not, so they're four, they would be four dollars here. The turn lock one is probably maybe okay for four dollars depending on how dirty it is. So I'm gonna put this in and we will do a, we'll, we'll look at that one. And then we have a bunch of other wallets here. Some of these have been here a while, but I'm sure there's probably one or two that are new in here. That's a really pretty color. It's like a light orange, orangey pink. 
I like I want to say salmon, but I don't know if that's salmon is an actual color that people will recognize. But to me, it's it's salmon color. I don't see anything. I don't see anything else down there. But let's just check this rack real quick since it's quiet. Oh, here's a. Oh, this is a Muckros Weavers. This is a newsboy. This is a newsboy. It's obviously a woman's because of the flower on it. Um, I'll put that in the cart. Um, as long as it has a size on it. Um, Muckros is usually wool made in Ireland. Yep, 100% wool. I'll put that in. We'll, we'll check that. I haven't seen a, a lot of those hats, but I have a feeling people are probably cleaning their, their this is J. Crew cleaning out their houses for spring. So I do see like a lot of things that are, a lot of the winter stuff, people are probably starting to drop that off too. Okay, let's go back over here and go through, go through those purses and really, really take it. What's this one right here? Sorry, that caught my... I hope somebody's got their initials on that one. Uh, Nine West. Martin. Yeah, let's go back through the purses. Let's start down here and really make sure we, we cut into these and do a, do a good look through. This one's a really like an orange color. Um, we got igloo. You see some bigger bags down here. This is this is humongous. Roxbury. It almost looks like a bowling bag. Like like for bowling. Very large. I do see some sack purses. Um oh the purple's pretty, the little lavender. Oh, this is actually a Target. That one right there, so that's a Target. Um, let's come over here. That looks like a Bagalini. What's the blue? So I'm making sure to get in be behind things because they're 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 tucked they're tucked in here pretty good. Oh, what's this one right here? Is that what I th think this might be a Spartina? Oh, that's really pretty though. It might be. Let's see. I'm still not sure if it is or not, but it's very pretty. It's like a kind of a quilted fabric. You know what? We'll we'll put this in and look this up. I I would have thought it would have been a Spartina, but it doesn't say anything on the inside. Um, oh wait a minute. Hold on. What is this? Nope. You know what? Let me go and put that in. We'll we'll come back and we'll check. We'll we'll double check on that one. Because if it's a Spartina bag, if it's a Spartina bag and they didn't mark it up, that's pretty good. We've got some stuff down here too. This is an ATN Anya. I can see from the little horseshoe shape, but it's got a lot of staining on the front. That's a shame because it's a really pretty camel color. Here's a Jones, New York. Okay, let's come up here. Rulens. This is real pretty, but it doesn't feel very quality to me. Oh, I do like the straw though. Look at this one. Oh, this is just this is a great looking bag. Look how cute that is. For summers. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in. I like that. Okay, what are these up here? So we have a corduroy bag. That one's literally corduroy. I think I've seen a corduroy bag in a long time. This looks like this might be like a, this this woven one might be, oh, this is an ATN Anya. Look how pretty that is now. See, I'm liking that. I'm gonna put the corduroy down for a minute so, so I can see this one. 
yeah, that's what this is. Look at this ATN on yay. Beautiful taupe color, great leather. Yep, that's going in the cart. They didn't even they didn't even mark that one up, so that was a really good find. Now let's see what, what this corduroy one is, because it honestly, oh it is brand new. It's made by I don't know this brand. Nunu? Nunu Nano? Nunu? You know what it is brand new. I'm not familiar with the brand. Let's put it in the cart and we'll take a we'll take a better look at that one. So I'm just doing the top and then I'll I'll actually bend down and do the bottom. There's not too many people in here right now, so it's it, I can I can get away with that. This is a bueno. What is this one right here? That's pretty, but it's really lightweight, so I wouldn't say it's a high-end one. And then we have a couple more back here. Oh, what's that? That looks like it's... Is that a guess? I think it might be a guess purse. I'm still trying to figure out what this is. Oh, wait, there is a tag in here. Okay, let's see what that says. Oh, it's blank. Okay. Well, it's, I'm sorry, but it's definitely not a real coach. Um, I would say they were trying to, I thought it was guess at first, but no. I think they were trying to copy coach, and it's, it's not a good copy. So we're going to put that right back where we found that. Because that's definitely not a, a real purse. Well, it's not a, it's not a real coach is what I'm trying to say. All right, so let's go train down the browns. Okay, we've got Zanotti. Let's see what else is down here. What is this one? Is that a little sports sack? It seems like it's some. No, it's, it's. Nope, it's actually not a little sports sack. I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't. We've got some other little stuff down here. Naturalizer. What's this one? That's okay. So we looked at the Bueno already. Yeah, I think I think we're going to be I think we're going to be done with the purses over here. I'm kind of enjoying all the, seeing all the straw purses. That's kind of nice. Let's go over here and we'll we'll start in the shoes. We might go back to purses later. Depends. So we'll see what we can find over here. These are Brighton. These are actually a bigger size too. Oh, but the let okay, so the leathers. The leather has started to peel and break off on the back, so we can't take those. I'm seeing some interesting colors and things down here. Those are just fabs. Aerosols. Esprit. Esprits. Do I do see the tie-dye Crocs, but the insides are fuzzy and they look kind of beat up. Um, now are these going to be a pair of, these are Clarks. Those are really nice looking. I mean, I told you Clarks really has come out with some, some nice looking shoes. I would say these are a, a smaller size, maybe like, these are probably like a seven. I'm guessing. Nice looking shoe. Um, they did mark them up a little bit. I don't know if they would be worth 12, but... Whoever bought them didn't wear them very much. I mean, they look like they're almost brand new. Um, I don't think I'm going to grab them for 12, though. I think I think that would be a hard one at 12. I do like the lavender. Those are very pretty. Here are some red keen sandals, but at 15, that's that might be out of the price range too. Even though they look like they're brand new. I'll take those. Um, I will. I will. I will take the Keen ones, and I'll put them in, and I will check to see um, the resale on that because Keen's 
Keens can be a 200, you know, $150, $200 pair of shoes depending on what you buy. So, oh, these are Crocs. Interesting. These are Crocs. I wouldn't have thought those were Crocs. They're pla They're not. Um, they're not canvas. They're they're plastic. Okay. But so let's go ahead and let's go this way. Oh, what are these? I like that blue. These are oh, these are echoes. That's a really nice looking color. Um, I do think they're a little bit worn in areas though, but that's a, a gorgeous color. They're probably not that bad, but I can see that the I can see that there's some scraping off on the front of them. 39. Hmm. Let me see what these look like. I just want to take a quick look and see what those look like when they're on. Well, they're okay. So that must be about a nine then. Okay. That's probably a little bigger than I would I would grab for myself. But um, let's go over here and see what we can find. Those are Chacos. We saw those the other day. They've removed the, the insides on those. I always get a kick out of when I see the shoes that were donated and I know that the people never even wore them. Oh, now see, these coaches are, are really cute. That just looks like the sticker that was inside of it. These are actually really cute. I do like those. Yeah, that was just where the sticker was. So it's not, the insides are not ruined on them. It's just, they have a sticker. These are going to be, what size are they? I'm curious. I think these are an eight or an eight and a half, but those are adorable. I think we'll put those in the cart. These are made by Torres. These are, these are very heavy looking. We got some Merrells and I am looking at the top shelf in case you guys can't see. I'm going to raise raise it up so you guys can see. Oh, those are pretty. What are those? Oh, these are box, but I can see the front of the leather has started to come off. Those are pretty, though. What are these right here? I like this color on these. Oh, those are actually uh, Targets, Universal Threads. Okay. What about these down here? What are these? Those are Clarks. Okay. Those are also Clarks. Um, what are these? Oh, those are Sasses. Oh, those are really, these are in like really nice condition. What size are they? These are a 10 and a half extra wide. They might be worth it. Like I said, when you start to get shoes that are really wide like that, or, you know, a, a good size shoe, I don't know if it's men's or women, I'd have to figure that out. But when you can start getting shoes like that, believe it or not, they sell because people, people have a hard time, you know, getting, getting, um, you know, shoes in those sizes. It's, it's hard to go and buy a shoe in that size. I love these. These are Sam Edelman's and I love these. I'm kind of hoping they fit my feet. So yeah, we're taking those. I like those a lot. They just need a little bit of cleanup, it looks like. Got a little dirt on them, but yep, I think we're gonna take those. Hoping they fit me. Well, and if they don't, it happens. Those are um, Unisa's. I saw something up there. I want to look at that. What are these up here? Okay, what are these? Oh, these are actually Michael Kors. Look at the fanciness on those. Yep, these got these have got some fancy on them. These are eight and a half. 
I don't think I like the way they, 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 they're not damaged. It's just they have like a, like a staining on the inside. I would definitely say they're, they're leather, if those will be worth, worth what they marked them at. We'll have to find that out. Need some more universal threads. I've been enjoying my yard sales and garage sales that have started so much that I haven't haven't been into the thrift store as much. So I guess I I guess I'll just be doing a little bit of both this year. There will be a point though that I know the yard sales will just take over just because there will be a lot of them. Okay, what do we have here? What are these? Oh, those are really cute. Those are Cole Hans. Look at that. They're like little black penny loafer boat, boat shoes. What size are they? Oh, they're seven, size seven. I do like those. The white just needs to be cleaned up a little bit around the edges, but I think those will clean up real nice. The tops don't have like anywhere at all. So I think we'll put those in the cart too. Well, it's just going to be a busy day today. What are these? Oh, and hello, my Fly Londons. Nice. Look how cute my Fly Londons are. Those are really cute. I like those. Okay, I think those are going to need some kind of a little strap. I will have to look and see if it's like a leather piece they're going to need to tie them off. Or wait a minute, this one, oh, this one has, okay, wait a minute. Does this one have both of them? Hold on. Okay, so one of the straps is tied in this shoe. Let's see if the other one is tied in this shoe. Oh, let's see, they might have lost one of the straps, which is gonna make it not so fun because these straps are short. They're not meant for a full shoe. So, that's something I'll have to consider because I would have to purchase a new pair of um, shoes to get the, the, to get the ties. Can't wonder about these. Those are Moronas. What are these? Are these, um, those are Clark's too. What about these? Those are box, okay. The Borns, the Borns sell better for me than the box. Oh, they do have these, this pair of Taos. Those are kind of cute. Taos does sell really well for me. What size are these? I think these are a five or a five and a half. Um, Taos does make some really nice shoes. I'll put those in too, because those, those, those would probably be okay. Um, obviously, I'm going to have a lot of looking up to do. Um, I have been picking up a lot of espadrilles. These are, I believe, Kato's and wedges and sandals. So I, it's, they're definitely on my radar now. Oh, those are cute. I actually just, I just sold a pair of jewels. Um, they were adorable. These are the doggy ones. Obviously these would probably sit for a little while, but um, they do sell and they didn't mark them up. What size are these? About an eight. I really kind of like the ones with the dogs on it. You know what? I might toss those in the cart too, believe it or not. Those might, uh, those might just have to go and sit for a while. What are these? Oh, these are Skechers. Oh, those are really pretty too. These are, oh, these are Martha. Okay, so the, this is something new. I didn't know Martha Stewart made Skechers, but these are Martha Stewart Skechers. Okay. I still don't think I want to do Skechers, Skechers though, just because, like I said, there's so much of it on the market. These are really nice. What are these? It's pretty bad when I can't see down in the... I can't see down into what they are. You know, they might, they might be Uggs. Oh, they are Uggs. They are very cute. It said on the side. I was trying to look into the label and I couldn't see anything, but it does say on the side. Okay. Well, I know, I know I'm going to have to be quick about my research just because um, I did drop the doggies off 
at the groomers. And I know that when they call, I gotta go get the doggies. So, I probably should do a quick um, look through of my cart just because it's very full right now. I mean, I've, 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 I've filled it, so I probably need to go and do a quick look through. What about these? Oh, those are Echoes. Those are, those are pretty. Echoes used to be a really good brand, but they just, they jerk, they're not performing the way that they, they used to, so. Um, I have been leaving those behind. What are these? Footprint, oh, these are Birkenstocks. Surprise, these are Birkenstocks. Yep, going in the cart. I've sold, um, you know, I've sold leather Birkenstocks before that aren't sandals, um, and they sell, they sell, they sell pretty quickly. Um, if you, if you, if you price Birkenstocks right, pretty much no matter what kind of Birkenstock they are, they sell. These are Herman Survivors. I don't know if Herman are good boots, but man, these are like in brand new condition. Yeah, we're putting them in. All right. Well, I am going to do a quick little recap or a quick little check of my cart since it's already full. And then I'll figure out um, if I'm going to be able to move on to the rest. So I will get back to you and all in just a little while. Hi, good morning, everyone. I just want to give everybody a quick quick recap of the items that I bought at Goodwill. And if it's not morning for you, I am sorry. Um, it was a good trip. I got some really nice purses, um, a lot of shoes. Um, you know, for for garage sales season is starting, but it is, it's still, I'm still gonna be going to the Goodwill uh, in between just to make sure I have lots of inventory. So I'm gonna start with the things that, that um, I picked up at the Goodwill today. Okay, so that purse is gonna probably just keep falling over. So I will give you a close up in just a second. I did get a pair of Gianscos. Um, I also got a pair of the, I did pick up the Cole Hans and this uh, Sass. I also got the uh, Birkenstock shoes, uh, a pair of Coach, and I did get a, a pair of, um, these are Taos. These are a five, five and a half, I believe. Someone was recently asking me about smaller size sandals. Um, in one of the comments, this is a great brand. Taos is a great brand, and um, these are a five, five and a half. So just to just to let you know, I do grab the smaller sizes when I see them, and I read your comments. Um, but I did grab a real nice pair of Taos sandals. I did get grab the Sam Edelman's um, Edelman Edelman, however you'd like to pronounce it. Um, I grabbed these just because I thought these were so nice. They actually zip on both sides. I love the color. It's like a bone like a bone color, um, almost like a, well, like a really light gray off white color. Really nice. Um, I did get some belts today. I was surprised they had some really nice choices up there. Um, and, and this one I wasn't real familiar with. This is a, it's, it's from the brand B low. Um, it just was really well made. Obviously it's a nice woven. It's a cognac color, which would be great for summer with type of an antique brass um, um, buckle on it. So I did grab that, I, I liked it. It just, it was something that appealed to me for summer. Um, I also did the same thing, and this is actually a Cole Haan. Um, you know, I anytime I see, you know, good quality leather pieces, I, I will grab them. So this is uh, the Cole Haan belt. I did grab that one also. Um, I grabbed this belt. Now, this is one of those belts I am not sure if it's a real Harley Davidson belt or exactly what, I'll have to do a Google search or an image search just to make sure. Um, it does have the little Harley emblems all the way around, but it does not say, um, or maybe it does say, I, it's hard for me to tell. I'll probably have to get a, um, it does say something on there. You know what, I'm probably gonna have to get a my, um, um, my magnifier out just to check that one, but I did grab that belt also. Now, onto the purses. Uh, I did get one of these coach purses. This is one of their uh, poppies. It is a, one of their limited editions. Uh, gosh, what is the style? I think they call it a graffiti style. Anyway, I did grab that. Um, I paid $12 for it. Um, it needs a little bit of a cleanup, but for this type of bag, you know, I usually stay away from this type of bag, but the bottom is very clean. So I did, I did grab that. 
Um, I did grab the Etienne Anye. Um, it was just a beautiful taupe uh, woven color. I also grabbed the Navy Blue Hunt Club. This is actually um, a leather purse. This, uh, the Hunt Club purses are very nice. Um, it's a very similar to a coach purse, um, but that is actually made by Hunt Club. And then I did grab the Patricia Nash purse. Um, this one I paid, um, I also paid $12 for this one. Um, you know, these, these tooled leather purses, especially being in such nice condition, I mean, this doesn't even look like it was, it was, um, you know, used. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. And there's a, um, it looks like a dust bag in there, but this is for a Ralph Lauren purse. Okay. Well, I guess I'll hold on to the dust bag. That'll come in handy down the line when I get a Ralph Lauren, but, um, okay. This is a, uh, Patricia Nash purse and the inside is very clean. Like I said, it doesn't look like it has much use on it. Um, <clears throat> Once again, um, I think that was a $12 purse too. So whoever marked the purses up, um, marked the purses that, uh, that day didn't, um, didn't mark them up to the usual like $30 prices, which usually what I'm seeing now. So it, it was, uh, it was a really, really nice day. My total spent at the Goodwill was $89. Um, most of my shoes were all regular price also. So it was a really good day. Um, $89 spent. Um, if you'd like to see some of the items, there is a, uh, a link to the eBay store in the description. Um, as usual, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Um, sometimes you see things that I don't, or, um, you know, you have brands that you like that, you know, aren't, aren't things that I'm familiar with. Um, so once again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.